Julius Caesar is a political thriller. It tells the story of how Caesar is assassinated. And how the people who did it are defeated afterwards. At the start of the play, Julius Caesar has just returned to Rome after winning a war. The ordinary people of the city are celebrating his victory and praising him. But some of the politicians are concerned that Caesar is gaining far too much power. A senator called Caius Cassius makes a plot to murder Caesar. Cassius persuades several other senators to join the conspiracy. One of them is Marcus Brutus, who is a highly respected figure in Rome. Brutus has no grudge against Caesar, but does eventually decide that his murder will benefit the people. Cassius wants to kill Caesar's close friend, Mark Antony, as well. But Brutus persuades Cassius that Antony is not a threat and his life is spared. On the Ides of March, The conspirators ambush Caesar at the Senate and stab him to death. Mark Antony finds them all washing their hands in Caesar's blood and confronts them. Brutus assures Antony that they had good reasons for the assassination and won't kill anybody else. Antony seems to accept this, but asks to speak at Caesar's funeral. Thinking that Antony is on their side, Brutus agrees. At the funeral, Brutus gives a speech and convinces the crowd that Caesar needed to die. However, after Brutus leaves, Mark Antony skillfully turns the mob against the conspirators. Brutus, Cassius and the others are forced to flee from Rome before they are killed. Civil war is soon brewing. Mark Antony and Caesar's heir, Octavius, take command of Rome. Brutus and Cassius have raised a rebel army and marched to fight their enemy at a town called Philippi.
Although the rebels are determined and brave, Brutus has been seeing Caesar's ghost at night and is worried about what will happen. When the two armies meet on the battlefield, the rebels are defeated. Cassius and then Brutus both killed themselves rather than be captured by their enemy. As the play ends, Octavius commands that Brutus's body be treated with respect and honour. and then returns to Rome to spread the news of the victory. <laughs>